YouTube. Welcome to my shop. I'm Mike Hedden and this is Round 2 Woodworks. Um, recently I just, uh, I, I, I've been saving up for a table saw. I had $1,700 up and I came across a deal that I bought a shop full of very quality tools for $1,000 or $1,200 because I've also got this uh, router table. It's a bench dog pro, pro, uh, Pro stand, bench dog pro stand. I got a couple of plates with it and everything. So I had seventeen, spent twelve hundred. Can you say Tormek? But before that, I have a little uh, other, uh, you know, a little uh, spending money. So uh, if you know me, you know I like a clean shop. I, I've gone to extra steps to get my miter saw under control and and uh, my table saw and my band saw well you know the last real dirty uh, machine in the shop really is I don't have a lathe so uh, uh, you know it's got to be the router table and uh, when you're especially when you're doing dados or something I mean it'll shoot out a stream of sawdust six foot long so I was wondering what kind of uh, dust control I could put on that and you know I get on YouTube and I'm looking around and stuff and you know some some companies have uh, you know these these like buckets that go over the whole router with a four inch you know on it and I was thinking well you know that's pretty good I could probably make something like that just get a five gallon bucket and put put around the router and everything but as I was looking uh, around you know somebody came up the, with a you know a, a problem that uh, doesn't sound real good and that's if you put that router in a contained area even if you are sucking uh, the dust out it's got a better chance of sucking the dust through the the, the router itself and and that made sense you know um, so uh, you know when you're when you're talking good routers cost them two hundred dollars and more that 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 wasn't a good visualization of a bunch of sawdust going through your uh, high buck router. So I, I kind of snitched on that idea, but I was over. You know, I I use Kingspore. Uh, it's a little company, or I don't know, it might be a great big company uh, in uh, North. North Carolina or South Carolina, I, I believe it's the Northern Boys, but uh, uh, they had this product called the Dust Collector Kit, and what it does, it, it it's got like a silicone boot that kind of fits between the plate and the router, and I was thinking that that might that might work. So let me uh, show you what this boot is, and uh, uh, we'll see what it looks like when we open the package. It's called the Dust Collector Kit for Router Tables. Capture de Poserie, or something. I'm not sure what the French, I think. But uh, you can see where it goes from the fence back down around splits off to the vac and then over to a little blue silicone boot that's uh that uh, you're supposed to be able to change blades and everything with it on um i hope so so let's open this thing up see what we got all right well Kind of like the picture. We've got the little section that goes on the table. I imagine one of these goes on that. This goes in the split and then on up to the up to the uh, fence. So I'll put it together, put it on the table. We'll try it without the the vacuum on, see what it catches. We'll try it with it on, see what it catches.
be interesting. Well, actually, installation was pretty easy. I don't know if you can see the blue silicone cup that goes in there. Uh, but it's held on. There's a plastic piece that's got some Velcro. And the cup's got some Velcro. So it sits very nice and tight up against uh, the plate. So... I'm not sure how good it'll collect dust, but it sure seems good. And then back here, you know, it goes down around, and then the split for the vacuum, and then on up to the, the router. You can see the blue cup there that goes into the router that is held to, uh, to the plate with the Velcro. So, I'm anxious to give this thing a test. It worked perfect with this uh, bench dog router table and my uh, Porter cable router. So, I'm looking forward to seeing how good it'll collect uh, dust. But I think tonight's a little late to be firing up the router for a test. So, I'll get on that first thing in the morning and I'll let you know how it goes. So, take care. Okay, let's see what it takes to uh, set my shop up ready for work. It is 9.54 mark.
9.57 and 15 seconds. I'm basically ready to go to work. A few more things that I have to do, but basically it's set up. A few minutes. Is it a pain? It's a pain. But is it worth it having all those uh, tools, those nice tools uh, at my uh, few minute fingertips? I think it's well worth it. So let's take, go ahead and take a closer look. Today we'll be testing the uh, router dust collection. And uh, we'll uh, see how that works. So let me get that all set up. Okay then, I've got the um, shop vac hit hooked up to the desk separator. The desk separator hooked up to the back of the router table. The router table is split to the fence. Now I've just got that, that uh, round thing there just to hold the pressure off. I'm supposed to put a strap under there and I haven't done it yet, so I will. But uh, I've got a... 5 8 inch straight bit to do a, a groove down the side and uh, I've got a, a feather board there so 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 it won't uh, move away from the bit and I also have of course a push stick then underneath you can see the blue the blue bonnet going to the to the hose, the vac hose. So, let me get my uh, let me get my uh, ear protection dust mask on. We'll run this through um, with some very dry pine, and then we'll do it again uh, with the vacuum on and see how much uh, how much a difference there is as far as dust in my shop. Hang on. Okay, let's see how this thing works. I've got a feather board on. I've got a straight uh, 5 8 inch straight on there to make the groove. It's an old uh, Harbor Freight uh, cheapy uh, a router bit. I'm not going to use my Freud on this. I just want to see what the dust collection thing is. So let's crank this puppy up and see what kind of uh, dust collection there isn't. We haven't the vacuum on. We'll Let's go. Now, let's try it with a vacuum on.
I like it a lot. I mean, it went from, let's see if I can get this. Without the, the dust to it just, you know, that, that dust was on the table. There's nothing underneath uh, on my air compressor. This is well worth the 30, uh, $39, I think. I went from very, very dusty to it got uh, most of it. So anytime we can go from 90% uh, dust to 10% dust, I'll take that in a heartbeat. So that's my review of this, uh, this little router dust collector from Kingsport. Thanks a lot, YouTube. I appreciate you stopping by and taking a look. Take care.